The first step in spinner bike setup is to adjust the seat height. As a rough guideline, the top of the saddle should be level with the top of your thigh when you're standing alongside the bike with your leg lifted to a 90 degree angle. As you can see here, the seat is too low. So we're going to raise it up, making sure that the pop pin locks into place. Now, the saddle is aligned with the top of the thigh. The next step is handlebar height, which should be about level with the seat height. Now you're ready to get on the bike for further adjustments, so be sure to tighten the pop pins. Mount the bike and sit on the widest part of the saddle. Perform a heel check by placing the heel of one foot on the center of the pedal and lower that pedal to the bottom position. Check to see if the heel reaches to the pedal with an extended leg and hips level in the saddle. In this case, as you can see, the seat is too high and the heel does not reach the pedal. We'll now lower the seat a bit and retry the heel check. Again, be sure to lock in and tighten the pop pins before mounting the bike. Now the heel check is successful. Notice how the heel reaches the center of the pedal with an extended leg. In addition to the heel check, you want to check the degree of knee flexion when your foot is positioned on the pedal for riding. Place the ball of your foot over the center of the pedal. The ball of your foot is also the widest part of your shoe. With the pedal at the lowest position, your knee should be flexed 25 to 35 degrees. This works the same way whether or not you are wearing cycling shoes. If you're not clipping in, place your foot into the cage with the ball of your foot positioned on the center of the pedal. Again, you can see the 25 to 35 degree of knee flexion. Finally, we're going to adjust the seat fore aft or the distance from the seat to the handlebars. The way we do this is by looking at the relationship between the knee and the pedal when the pedals are level. In this position, we want the front of the kneecap to be aligned directly above the center of the pedal. Here we see that the knee is too far behind the center of the pedal, which means the seat is too far back. To change the seat fore aft position, dismount the bike, loosen the seat slider adjustment, and slide the seat into the desired position. Tighten the knob before getting back on the bike. Mount the bike again and recheck the position. Be sure you're sitting on the widest part of the saddle with your hips level. Now we can see that the front of the knee is aligned directly above the center of the pedal. Now that you have your seat height, handlebar height, and seat fore aft adjusted, pedal slowly to be sure everything feels comfortable. Your shoulders and elbows should be relaxed. You can lower or raise the handlebars, depending on what feels comfortable to you. If you're new to riding, pregnant, or have any back concerns, raise the handlebars to a higher position. If you prefer riding with the handlebars lowered and it doesn't put a strain on your back, that's fine too. Write down your bike settings for quick setup the next time you ride. And periodically go through these steps again to make sure you're riding with the best bike fit possible. This is especially important if you change shoes, start using a gel seat cover, or anything else that may affect the way you fit on the bike. With a proper bike setup, your ride will be comfortable, efficient, and most importantly, safe.